Hey, this is Liam and welcome to my YouTube channel, Tinnitus Treatment. Now, if you're wondering why you should be watching my videos, it's because I've nearly cured over 200 people of tinnitus. And I can't technically use the word cure, I guess, due to legalities. Another thing I want to say is that I'm not a doctor. So before you do anything in this video, make sure you run it by a doctor. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about the actual process of a tinnitus cure. Tinnitus cure, remember, I can't use that word technically, I guess, but that's the way that it goes when you put stuff on the internet. Anyway, so let's talk about the approach that I use and the single approach has been responsible for helping over, well, sorry, nearly 200 people that I've helped so far get over their tinnitus has been fasting. Dry fasting, water fasting. Now, I don't worry too much about what those things are. Just remember that the process is fasting and fasting means uh, abstaining, so not eating, food for a long amount of time, one, two, three, four, five days, sometimes longer depending on how severe your tinnitus is. Now, this works whether you've got tinnitus from nose trauma, stress, bad foods, antibiotics, physical injury, brain injury, brain hemorrhage, trauma, stroke, pregnancy, chemotherapy. I've had it all. I've done it all. I've helped people with all of it. Now, let's talk about something very, very um, specific, which is tinnitus spikes when you're using these methods to get a tinnitus cure. Okay, here's what happens. When you fast, your sympathetic nervous system spikes. Why does that happen? Let's wind it back and look at caveman days. Okay, when you're a caveman, you don't eat every day. So back way when on the savannah when we used to be running around and thousands of years ago, um, we wouldn't eat every day. So what would happen would be that our bodies would be designed to eat every three or four days or something like that. So what would happen when we didn't eat? Of course, we had to hunt for food and go forage and put a lot of effort into getting a small meal. So if our bodies got tired every time that we didn't eat, we die off and our species would no longer exist right? So what happens is when you don't eat for a prolonged amount of time, your, symp your uh, sympathetic nervous system, which is your alertness, goes up. What's the side effect of that? So basically your sympathetic nervous system goes up to make you more alert, right? So everyone knows tinnitus, which is fight or flight, by the way. That's your fight or flight mechanism. Now here's the other thing that happens, okay? So that would make you alert to hunt for food and look for food. Now what's the side effect of the sympathetic nervous system going up and what's the chemical uh, causation of the fight or flight mechanism, aka the sympathetic nervous system? Cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone that's secreted from your adrenal glands, okay? And it's also this, a stress response to some extent, okay? So you're stressed out because you're not eating and your body's going, dun, 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 be alert, you know, go get food. That's why it's hard to sleep when you're hungry, right? So that lasts for, it progressively gets in more intense as time goes on. But here's the other thing. Fasting, what makes it, uh, what helps with your tinnitus is the autophagy effect is when old cells get eaten by new cells and they clean out the cells and fix them. You might have heard that God, the amount of stuff that doctors say is just completely ridiculous. And the funny thing is more doctors now are now saying that tinnitus is not for life because they're realizing that it's actually not for life. I used to have tinnitus too. Anyway, back to the topic. So as time goes on, if you're just now seeing this video and you think I'm going to try a fast, chances are you might do a two day, three day fast and your tinnitus is going to be worse. You're going to get a spike. It's going to suck. The thing is, if you're going to do a fast, a three day fast, whatever, you're, you're going to try this. Do a water fast first. Remember, don't do a dry fast first. Do a water fast. You can tell your doctor before you do any of this. Here's the thing, your tinnitus is going to spike most likely and you're going to feel worse and you're going to feel better when you eat. Here's why. The autophagy effect kicks in after about two days, okay? The uh, fight or flight mechanism starts going about the same time, ramping up. The first time you do it, okay, a fast, the fight or flight mechanism, which is the cortisol, you've already got too much cortisol in your system from eating bad and stress and antibiotics and everything, adding more cortisol is just going to be excruciatingly bad. It's going to outweigh the positive effects of autophagy. So the first time you do a three-day fast, your tonight is going to be awful. The th second time you do a three-day fast, your tinnitus is going to be awful. Maybe the third time, fourth time might not be that great either. Maybe, but the third time, fourth time, if you eat well in between, it's going to start going down, okay? Now, when you start getting to the fourth or fifth time, your tinnitus will spike at the beginning of a fast maybe, or maybe it won't, but it'll start going down and down and down. And then when you eat, it'll go back up. What's happening there? The cortisol is still secreting, but the autophagy effect, look this up, the autophagy effect where cells is survival at the fittest is kicking into such an extent and your, the fact that you're fasting and fasting gets rid of excess cortisol, by the way, and because it, it, cortisol affects your autonomic nervous system and cortisol also messes with your alkalinity. This, if this is sounding complex, it's because it is. If you want a simplified version, click below this video, go to liamstopsnitis.com and get the free guide and start implementing it today. But just to wrap this up, guys, this is the Tinnitus Cure video. Let me keep going, though. The basic idea is that when you fast more, it's going to suck in the beginning, but as you do it more, you do longer fasts, 
and you do water fast and you transition to dry fast, eventually the autophagy effect is going to get rid of the damaged cells that are causing tinnitus. Never forget, tinnitus is a symptom of an underlying problem. It's not a problem within itself, okay? It's completely curable. Don't listen to a thing that ENTs say, well, you know, listen to certain things. If they say it's curable, go, oh, it's curable, good. Use that motivation, follow my, te- follow my steps. It's not curable, no. I've heard it's not curable so many times, I, ca- I can't even count it. I can't even count it, literally. So. This video is on tinnitus cure. I hope this helps. Click below, download my free guide to get the simplified version. Use the actionable steps. If you have questions, please comment below. This is my name's Liam again. I run a company called Tinnitus Treatment. That's my website. So go to liamstopstinnitus.com, get the free guide. Hope it helps you. I really hope it helps you. Talk soon.